yes, we are rolling. I hurt myself. I hurt myself. I hurt myself. Hey, son. Hey, son. Now, but then if, if you can't hurt yourself, because then we're going to have to hire somebody to come clap. Do because, a clap. Because because <laughs> I, cause I, not with these hands. These yeah. hands. These hands. Are, these hands are computer hands. These hands are. Yeah, well, they, these, they're it's very gonna delicate. Be little, it, it, it's going to sound like somebody's clicking their fingers <laughs> if I try to clap them now. So, I was actually looking into buying a professional clapper. Hey? Exactly. Like no, one, we must. One, like, oh, you. Oh, movie. okay. No, no. Oh, you thinking a, a I, person I thought that's gonna a, a person. That was, I was like, yeah, you with me? <laughs> we just get someone. <laughs> They're always in the corners. In the mornings, just just drive on the main road. Yeah. You see them on the corner. If you, a- I promise your hands. you, those people, you can actually stop them and say, Evan, I just need you to clap. Car. Yeah, that's all. And they would. They and, would. and they would. And there's actually and like would. a few peeps in jail down, just down the road here. We could hire exactly. one. Exactly. That's like all you yeah, need to do is come and clap. Actually, we need five of you. Better all clap at the same time. You don't clap at the same time. It's you're not curtain, getting paid. You're not getting paid. You're not getting Coordinate, paid. Nah. Use those hands. Put your hands to good use. Ish. That's, you, you know what's crazy about that? Yeah. Is that you can literally go down the road and buy someone to do anything. Anything. And, and hire them. You know, you're, not, you're not buying them. You're hiring them mm. for, say, an hour to do anything you want. Mm. If, you, if you needed extras, if you were shooting a movie in your room here, we could go down the street and get people extras. and and use them as All extras. All they have to do is just like stand there. <laughs> it's, it's it. like it's like Uber, but for people. <laughs> Uber peeps. Uber peeps. <laughs> <laughs> we onto something is, here, bro. Is, is that we is are that, onto is, something is, is that here. the world that we've actually come yes, to, bro? Uber peeps. There we it's go. It's Uber peeps. Uber no, peeps. I, no, I don't need you to do tiles <laughs> <No>. somewhere. <laughs> I don't need you to do tiles. <laughs> Imagine it. Just stand there somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. Now I need a riveting look somewhere. Riveting, riveting Samuel. look somewhere. Quarter somewhere. Because now you're going to be riveting. Samuel, come quarter to quarter. Quarter somewhere. Quarter. <laughs> That's crazy. That's anyway, crazy. man. Anyway. Yes, we are back. We are back. We are back. Like we never left. This is episode seven of the Easy Just podcast out here on the YouTubes. And uh, yeah, man, in your world, in your lounge, on your phone, wherever the fuck you're listening to us, we are right here with you for the next, I don't know how long this episode is going to be. Of course, we we'll look you in the face you like this. And the face is like this. <laughs> this is uh, episode 7 Myself, uh, Obake Muro And of course my boy We are out here man We are still alive We are doing the things And um, yeah man It's going to be an excellent ride Oh and um, super uh, quick announcement That I have to make is this, it? Yes, yes, quick fast this, uh, this, 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 this podcast in a few days or so Is going to be available on all your major um, podcast streaming platforms, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, and uh, Anchor. It's going to be available there. Obviously, it's just going to be audio. There's Anchor. <coughs> yeah, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I was almost like, what the fuck is Anchor? Then I was like, wait, Anchor might be your boss. <laughs> okay, but I just never heard of Anchor before. Well, well, that's, this that's is, great. This that's great. Just the, the aggregator that we're using to get. Um, oh, I love it. I love the, it. I love it. The, the, the podcast on there. So, yeah, man, we're stepping this one up a little bit. Um, we are going to be available on all those platforms Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um, wherever it is that you listen to your platform. But obviously, our favorite one will always be YouTube because we want you to see our faces, you know? Please. Yeah, our faces, not our faces. But if you want to listen to us while you jog or while you sail, you sail or whatever, or whatever it is, or maybe you paint houses, mm, something, whatever, or as an Thank extra, land uh, apple, abo, abo, apple, what, what, yes, abo, podcast, listen. We only, are going not to watch. be, we are going to be there as well. Yeah. We're going to be all over. So level up, like Sierra. That is what we're doing. Uh, just minus the the dancing and the twerking because I can't twerk to save my life. If I could though, I would so that you watch. Actually, I would just like to announce that just before we started recording, Oba Gang was twerking. Now I was just throwing the 10 runs. Yeah, 10 was, runs, I, 10 I was runs. doing the busted challenge. That's so, uh, <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about now. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Another Took my w- money. <laughs> Another week. Uh, we, 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 I have the scars to prove it. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, uh, yo, another another week. I mean, obviously, as, I was as inserting the games like in the arcade. Hmm? I was, I was, I was inserting the coins. <laughs> but, but, so, 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 uh, do you still have credit? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> 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 you clock in the game, actually. <laughs> I wouldn't even high score. You didn't even read the high score. It's like, 
<laughs> so yeah man uh another week another week um you know we're having glorious times right now we're enjoying ourselves during this podcast but it has been a very heavy week in in the country and all over the world actually because man wait see guess it's one other day corona ya puta it's just taking you know what i mean it's take oh, puta is like it's taking yeah it's picking up everyone and we've lost um some very very significant people some very iconic figures in the world particularly here in south africa as well man the legendary jonas guangwa rest in peace jonas guangwa um who gave us some of the best whoa jazz um that we've seen in this country obviously a global icon in our music and in our history as well there's so much that can be said about 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 his music man if you you haven't been to a wedding a black wedding particularly until they play home the wedding mm. song from from jonas guang that played at literally every freaking wedding you can think of and yeah all our aunties and, and our our khadis were looking at us and somewhere now what you said you could, could you, you just hum it for us a little because now because i mean i haven't been to a lot of Tswana weddings i've yeah. you know but i mean don't you know that's a da 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 this a fella caribou sits a morale. Okay, 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 okay. We have come to a verdict. Yes. We have come to a verdict. Yes. That is definitely a wedding song, my man. Oh, my God. Because that, that just makes me want to get married now. That makes me want to have a party right now. And even as a Christian, it goes, Homo, 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 Tippy, Tabata. Shall I step? I was, hey, the step, eh? Yeah, you are yeah, schooling yeah. me now. Ah, you are schooling me now. Ah, my guy, no, Jonas Kwanga <laughs> gave us some really great music, man. Of course, uh, "Flowers of the Nation" as well, which is one of my favorite songs um, from him. And then there's "But to Yeah, I, I, yeah. So I, I only remembered that song, but yeah. um, actually. Um, I didn't know a lot of Jonas Guangwa at all. Uh, I recognized the name that it mm, was a jazz artist when I heard that he mm, died, but actually, I just didn't know a lot of his music. But yeah. th- I recognized "God of the Wedding Song." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's probably uh, probably about. probably that song is easily one of his biggest songs ever, ever, ever. I, I mean, mean he's if done it's a known million as the others, wedding song, you know? yeah. Then you must know. That's the once that's your music the one. is associated with an act, my guy, it's it's over, it's over. It's like Budin Diamba now for exactly. for my figures or let's like uh, what was the wedding so I got Brenda Fass as well. Um, uh, that one which I'm I can't not sure what now. events were happening in your life when <laughs> you were listening to these songs. No <laughs> man, there was a there's a song I got Brenda Fass that's played at every fucking wedding, man. Ah, why can't I remember? Did it you now? see? Um, there was a, I saw a video of uh, uh, white people and a white performer, mm. um, singing "U Yeah, there Ka we go. Fasi. But I mean, ad libbing it mm. like differently, which means fucking it up. Which is right. no, 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 no. <laughs> they like it that way. They like it that way. Yeah, man. So yeah, Jonas Guanga, rest in peace. He like for me, he's like you know, um, just the same. I held to the same standard as obviously like oh Brahu Masikela. So they're just yeah. chilling there. I can imagine. I can imagine Bra Bra, Bra Lu, You know, almost Bra, 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 Brahu was a bit of a a bit of a character. He was just chilling there with some X. You I've been waiting for you. Eh? You think you're going to leave me here alone for how long? I've been here for three years. How long has Brahu been gone? I think it's been like I don't know. It's been, it's been quite a while. It's like, hey, Dala Nukmele, boy. Dala Nukmele. <laughs> they're chilling there with all the guys that passed away. Osipo Kumedo. Then they just wait on some. Yeah. Now Uncle John has my favorite. No, 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 and like little fell like Eh, who called him Macheo? Yeah, Macheo is just like uh, lurking in the background. <laughs> yeah, man. But um, uh, uh, rest in peace to Jonas Guangwa, obviously. And another, another iconic um person in 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 South African politics, Jackson Mtembu, obviously a very important member of the ANC, passed away. Yeah. You know, um, minister of the presidency. Yes, yes, yes. Was he minister of the presidency? Because yes. you know me, yeah, me. I don't. I, I I know the names, ne? but I'm just like I, I don't know for a monkey minister. What in, but I don't really know. know anything about him either. I've just seen videos of him uh, singing a lot. Mm. Um, it seems like he was a very man of the people, approachable mm. in a way. 
a lot a lot of people say like the little bits and pieces that i heard was he was one of the um the, the people within the U the, I almost said the UFC <laughs> within the, the ANC UFC because they having a little UFC inside the ANC if you know what I mean. But uh, a member of the ANC that was uh, very vocal about corruption and like stood against it and everything. So you know, for lack of a better phrase, one of the good ones. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. One of um, the good ones within the, the ANC structure. You know. That is definitely now the vibe I'm getting. He's mm. uh he's definitely one of the good ones, but I actually don't know anything about him. I, I don't know what he did. I actually don't even know how old he was. Yeah, same here. Is he white guy? Oh, it is one. Fuck. Yeah. Why did my stupid? Uh, sorry, I I just fucked up your flow there. I, I thought it was off for some odd reason. But yeah, um, Jackson Mtembu, R.I.P. R.I.P. And hey, man, the man, Larry King, the man, the legend, the myth. Yeah. <laughs> the everything. Uh, Larry King, Larry King live, man. Hey, hey, but let ha, but Larry King though, ha, but Larry King, but Larry, let's be honest, guys. Larry King already looked like he was on his way out. <laughs> ah, for a long, <laughs> for a long time. time. Like Larry a King is time. one of those people. Like when I think about him mm. on TV or wherever I'm watching him from, mm. I don't remember a young Larry no, King. No, no, Larry King is like Morgan Freeman. This He's guy always been old. Has been. <laughs> Old. old my whole life my whole life exactly <laughs> it's like no. it's like ever since uh, palestine was fighting israel this guy was been old he's been he's been there he interviewing the people ones, every, band. every man that guy yo that guy yo, it's a hearty that man has innings like he has yeah he has one year internationals <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh, his belt he, yo larry king has been alive for uh, for long man yeah for long He's like he's yeah he's 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 that guy. He's, like, he's one of those guys. If you're explaining what interviewing is to like a toddler, yeah, and, and you like you need this toddler to understand what it is to give an interview. Then mm. he's just like that old man. I'm a Chris Bond with the glasses. The eh, just show just show a picture of Larry King. What this man does. does. He's like ah. this is what we do. Then yeah, your child would be like yeah I, I <laughs> now I understand. Larry, yeah, man, Larry King has been has been alive for a long time. Uh, but now, and people say it's it's, it's COVID nineteen. Ah, uh, I think with I him, we can we we can safely say, <laughs> Larry, you have you have given the world enough content <laughs> as a content maker. Thank <laughs> you. We are help. We are we are very grateful. Yeah. No, I saw, I saw that peeps are um, saying it's. Um, but you know what? Uh, I actually that. didn't follow him enough to know what are like the legendary interviews he's done. Um, same here. I just know he interviewed everyone. In, like he interviewed everybody. Man, he even interviewed like Tyler the Creator. Like he's interviewed oh. everyone. He has. I didn't know that. Presidents. He's interviewed all the presidents you can think. I don't know if he has something with Trump, but he he interviewed everyone from celebrities, like musicians to politicians to everyone. You know what I mean? Um, and his show, I think, I mean, this guy has had, had been doing his show for like easily over 50, Probably 60 40, years yeah, or no, something I, like I was that. actually going to go for 40. Yeah, no, I mean. Because I'm not that close to 40. Bro. But yeah, you know, that's, the, <laughs> bro. that's the biggest number I could think of. Look, when, 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 when you were maybe, f when you were born, Larry King's show was probably, had probably been on air for like 20 years already. <laughs> that on was air. on air on already. Air. Not breathing air. On air <laughs> already. On air. Larry King was what well, had already been on 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 TV for like He'd twenty already years. Fired before that. secretaries because they couldn't keep secrets. Don't. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But he already like lived. Like, you know what I mean? He, he already lived like, his uh, stuff. He was already a boss, probably. My guy. A yeah. boss in media. Not just a guy in front of the camera. Yeah. A boss in media. Probably no, like he, outlived, he outlived his... his, his I think there's people that died while working for Larry King. <laughs> Larry Definitely. King outlived all of them. <laughs> yeah, especially but the yeah. old-ass journalist. Nah, he, um, when, when, when his uh, television show got... I don't know if it got canned or he just like retired in jail by his own volition. Um, he went online, so he started a whole show that was just like Larry King Live online. When he was doing those one-on-one -on -one interviews, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, and was it wasn't studio audience online. anymore. Yeah, it was dope. It was like it was almost. I think it was at his home actually. I think well, the setup looked like it was at his home because it was just him. I think he table. even interviewed about Mac Miller. Yes, he, he did. did. Yeah. That's why I saw also the Tyler the Creator he interviewed mm. Tyler. And it was more a relaxed Larry King. I think if you go back and, and watch all of those, I think they are on YouTube. I could be wrong, but they all those episodes should be on I YouTube. I wonder if he always wanted to interview those kinds of um, Zotini, um, those kind of guests 
Mm. Even when he was on CNN, but he couldn't obviously because it's fucking CNN. Mm. But he, but he thought that it would be interesting or fruitful to interview those people. Maybe, probably, maybe. But what I've always saw about him, Jay, as a person, is that he was just naturally curious about even things that he maybe didn't have enough knowledge about. Let's say mm. certain uh, parts of certain uh, genres of music, for example, maybe hip hop or whatever the case may be. He wasn't. He wasn't the the type of person to pretend that he knows everything. He will yeah. go in it with the, the little bit of knowledge that he knows and then get as much out of the guest as possible so that he grows as an interviewer as well. You know what I mean? Um, sort of like your 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 David... Is it, is it David Letterman? Yeah, David Letterman. Yeah, uh, David of, right? Letterman. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get a picture of his face. Like the name. <laughs> the name is already there, but, but the face, David Letterman... David Letterman. Right now he's just he's just a, he's just a, a, a tall white man with a big ass beard looking like a fake ass. Oh, Christmas. I see him! I see mm. him! I see him! Looks like a I don't know like a cowboy, but like a nerdy cowboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Mm. But I, I like his interviews. I now, see the him, stuff I see that he him, has I on, on Netflix. I I I, um, I watched his interview with Jay Z and he seemed so ignorant Word? of many like things like hip hop. It's like uh, the the things he was saying about hip hop. I was just offended because I felt like he was probably I thought he was more woke than. Like the questions he was asking. Yeah, I mean but, it's fine. But if also he again, man, he's, he's, he's a he's an old white man, and also again in the same sense, I think his 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 level of interest was more leaning to politics, and um and maybe obviously comedy because he was a stand up comedian, and then his 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 people who would be on his show were people that had leanings to some kind of uh, political. I don't know, uh, viewpoint or something. You know what I mean? Mm. So his, his great research would be more into politics and everything. That's why he would have uh, access to your presidents and, 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 and all these things. That's what yeah, I think. I don't know. I, mean, I could be uh, wrong. I don't think that that's an excuse to, for being ignorant, though. Well, hey, man. Everybody. Especially like, um, like if you're going to talk about hip-hop. Hip-hop is a huge force, even if you're in... It's a bigger force mm. than any politics of any country of anywhere. Mm, yeah, that is true. That is true. For him to be sounding that ignorant about it, I felt like you know what? It's it, it's it's a matter of him closing out hip hop when he recognizes it. If he Maybe. sees anything hip hop, he must. Be How ignorant? Like what? Well. What happened? Like how? Since we are here, he asked Jay Z some shit like, um, uh, how could he have phrased? You know, I don't want to paraphrase a question that mm. he might have asked, but the feeling that I had from the question that he asked was of somebody who is looking at hip hop and feeling like he couldn't. Um, listen to anything other than that thing at that specific time and associate that thought with it. So it's mm. not something that he gives a chance that when he sees it again, he gives it enough time to understand a little bit more of it than maybe whatever surface stuff he was getting. Like this. Mm. If all you listen to is uh, is like death rock or like goth music, mm -hmm. you'll think that uh, those people are actually sacrificing other people and uh, committing crimes and all that stuff. Yeah. Obviously they're not, man. You know? Even if they sing about worshiping the devil, you know, they, they, they're not, if they were killing people, they'd be in jail. Yeah, true that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it felt to me like he hadn't done the extra, to be interviewing Jay-Z. Mm. So he hadn't done, he hadn't looked into it enough. The things he was asking about hip hop, I, I just felt like. I'll um, need to maybe go and listen, because I, I, I haven't watched that interview. Maybe to so. give him the benefit of the doubt, Oba King. Mm. Uh, maybe he was uh, asking a question in an ignorant kind of way to almost reach out to an audience that would have perceived what he wanted Jay-Z to say from that ignorant perspective. You that know what could I'm saying? also, yeah, that like could also be. Like maybe thinking for his clientele that may have been watching. Yeah, that could also be. That could also be. But Gay, we are doing a lot of work for him in explaining <laughs> if that's what he was doing. All I'm but saying. But yeah, also he's still alive. Interview a motherfucker better if you're going to be interviewing the Jay most successful hip-hop artist of all time and maybe one of the most successful businessmen if you're not just looking at just the amount of money well, but the circumstances to make that amount of money. There's also that, but also his following is very much... I'm you know, taken to your point that you had said for maybe he was asking in in a, in a, in a, for the hillbillies. In a, yeah, in a, in a um, ignorant point of view because his, his following is more white than anything else and if there's more older, I don't know, middle-class older white people who... Would be very much, or would have been very much ignorant about, about what Reagan. what hip hop is, but then know Jay Z, and then yeah. they will they will get from him asking the questions in the way in the way he framed them, they would get a little bit more of an insight because you know evidently it would always be about the audience. You know what I'm saying? It could have been a strategy. I don't know. 
Let us give yeah. him the benefit of but the But anyway, doubt. he's still alive. He's not dead like Larry King. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, so don't, yeah. He's ish. Not, he's not, I know that sounded harsh. <laughs> but Larry King is dead. I think, but obviously, I think to I think to pay your, your Hail Mary for that is that you must watch at least like 10 hours of Larry of King. Of Larry King. <laughs> no, man, I had, I had great respect for Larry King, obviously. um, He he did pass away. And we're not really trying to mock his passing. I need to like go um, pee, though. Like I've been holding in pee for like... Yes, yeah, says. For have like you been forever. what i've been polite to everybody to you it's to fine myself, so what to my bladder but um okay go yeah. you can go and then we'll break it right here you can leave uh, leave leave. Uh, leave yeah adjust your pants don't pee on my on my floor please adjust your pants <laughs> go behind the camera <laughs> so yeah basically you are still here uh on the ep- easy just episode seven and now i'm doing this close by myself and I think I'm going to keep it going for long enough for you to hear his stream in the, <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> Catch you in the next segment, man. This is the Easy Just Podcast with uh, myself, Obake Moro, and Gwanda and his stream of urine. Deuces. I can actually hear it. <laughs> that was a good one. Mm. Yeah, I exercise. I exercise my, my, my hands every day to make sure that I give a crisp clap. <laughs> uh, tell us how you exercise your hands. Uh, like this. Okay, I see. Yeah, twinkle, like twinkle, little op- stars. Oprah, Oprah hug. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that called the Oprah hug? Yeah, this one. Don't you know that thing? Like, oh, ah. okay, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's a fucking Oprah hug. <laughs> uh, spend too much time, too much time with women. Man. <laughs> I didn't know it was called the Oprah hug. I like yeah. it though. Like, I have to hug a lot of people just very yes. quickly. Ah, that's the hug that we need now in in uh, in in COVID. It's like, it's like a COVID hug. <laughs> exactly. I love it. Like, ah. Because it shows yeah, yeah. excitement. Exactly, but also I don't want to touch you. But I don't want to touch you. I'm just, just like, yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like it. Yeah, man. How was your pee? Did you enjoy that? Oh, it was so good, bro. Mm. It was like, I felt like an older man than I am. Ah, did you, did yeah, you flash? <laughs> I'm afraid I didn't flash. I don't hear your toilet doing that. Uh, that ah. you, you know that after flash sound? like oh, about, that tr- There's always like a, a sound that tells you somebody flashed like 10 minutes earlier. It's yeah. not making that sound, so I think I didn't. I apologize. I can tell you what else is going to make people want to maybe f- not f- want to flash. Or that's trying to flash people. Uh, hopefully it won't. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's happening there? What's happening there? What's happening I was there? trying to lead into the thing. It's not working. It was a. Tla- I was trying to lead into this new fucking <laughs> topic. That's good. It's Don't stop working. trying, my brother. Don't stop trying, my brother. Okay, this uh, condition, yes. this weather condition that is trying to flush. Uh, ish. No, it's not happening. Oh, I do, I do. Oh. speaking of oh, flushing. <laughs> speaking of. D- uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, know. it's, it's, a, tough tough, it's it? a tough one. It's a tough one. Speaking of uh, turbulent, turbulent waters. <laughs> that's, the yeah, that's the one. Speaking of turbulent yeah. waters, there is a a looming cyclone. That's I don't know if it's, it's if it's already you know it hasn't happened yet. Um, but if it's it's set to happen, I don't know. By the time you see this in the coming few days or something, is that what they said? How many days did they say? It's week. It's, it's looming. It's it's coming. It's 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 coming. It's way for it. Way for it. It's coming. It's coming sometime. And it's called uh cyclone Eloise. It's coming from Mozambique, and it looks like it's gonna make our way its way into South Africa. And apparently, um, there was a, a an issue, a a, a a weather alert issue, um, issued to Mpumalanga because I think Mpumalanga is the closest to. Mm, they got their own personal like a uh, weather broadcast basically strictly for them thank <laughs> you you know that's what's happening out there I think if, if there's one thing you don't want to be exclusive to mm-hmm. it's like them telling you good <laughs> yeah uh we've got like uh, the a very big cyclone coming only, only for to you guys. <laughs> okay man you must prepare some yeah, other like, things there man just look at your house <laughs> Maybe if you have cousins, just no, no, go. but uh, it, 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 uh, it's not funny. Yeah, it's a very serious situation. I think it's hitting the whole left of the country, ne? I mean, I didn't see the um, the news broadcast mm. of it, but I heard of it. And I, I and if it's hitting Bumalanga, is it safe to assume it's also hitting um, KZN? Uh, I think so, but I think Bumalanga is the one that is in the most danger because it's, that's uh, the, that's where the and that's the one that's the, closest the to Mozambique, no? Basically, yes. That's 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 and yeah, that's the one. That I bet Swaziland should watch the fuck out. Hey, yeah, bro. Hey, bro. But you know what? What I find the the, the the funniest about this this cyclone is the name. 
Cyclone, Cyclone Eloise. Eloise. Cyclone Eloise sounds like I don't know. Is it your French? math teacher? Or, no, for me it sounds African. Like Eloise. Kaikiso na, kaikiso. Ek is a cyclone na. Ek is a cyclone. And ek gaan jullie allemaal opfok. Ek gaan jullie allemaal opfok. Ek kom met my eie water na. Dat is my water. En ek gaan in jou huis in, in jou, wat is huis in Afrikaans? In jou huis inkom, en die jylle fucking huis opfok. I, I, I just want to slow, yeah. slow you down there, because cause people might die when the cyclone actually arrives. Yeah, but you know, but but that's but that's the attitude of the cyclone, don't you think? I just cyclone hope uh, that that bit about uh, <laughs> cyclone Eloise ages well. That's all I'm saying. I tease, man, if it doesn't. But but that, that's, the, that's the feeling I get like with, with these. With, the, with that name also who names these things why, why cyclone eloise and it's from it's from it's from fucking do you um, know what i think happens i think Uguti, there's like uh, some big fancy telescope right mm. that's looking at all these things that tell us about the weather mm-hmm. and obviously one can imagine that who would you trust to go work on a big multi-million rand telescope just tell us where now that person there the profile in jay the kind of name they would give when uh, I'm just saying. What is it, Eloise? Eloise, obviously, <laughs> obviously you're gonna get some Africans mariki to go work your super expensive telescope. The first, the f- okay. Well, uh, okay, 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 okay. Maybe yeah. in some cases you might find a job line. How to get job line? The, for the most part, no, no, no. Uh, a person working jablan. the okay. telescope. Maybe you might find a job line uh. these days, but it's probably going to be a mariki. Why are they also also always named after women? All of these hurricanes and cyclones and true, you know, they always have women names. True, have you noticed? True, true, true. Mm. Hurricane Katrina, hurricane now cyclone Eloise. As you know, it might be just the way in which a hurricane happens. You know, it's just uh, it's a way in which one you can't explain. Yeah, true. Two, you have to stand and watch. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's... And, and and it gets angry unannounced. Like it goes from zero to a hundred very quickly. You know, <laughs> I guess from now, but I'm just saying it goes from zero to a hundred very quickly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, and but we must ask why they're naming these, these cyclones this way. I don't yeah, know, they, but they always, may, yeah, always, must, it's, it's always, it it's out. always you, women, women, women names. It's nev- I've Very never, I've never heard never of Hurricane, Hurricane John. John. <laughs> Hurricane John. <laughs> is that not a testament to how popular the name John, John is? is? You know what I'm saying? Eh? We should have a Hurricane John, man. Hurricane John. You are an... or, or if it was a South African name, like what, what name would you give Jonas. a Jonas. <laughs> All of these names, they like... <laughs> Jonas. You know that thing, like Jonas... Uh, 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 man, I'll have to explain the joke. No, the I joke remember. No, I, I do. I do. No, no, no. From my from, Twana from childhood. Oh. You, are, you are from my Twana childhood. <laughs> I forget you have. <laughs> you, you have a, you, you have a, a footprint. <laughs> Don't you remember when I was young and I was Twana? You twana. And, yeah. When you were in Bloomington <laughs> for six months. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, but anyway, jo- Jonah and the Whale was basically like a joke around that whole thing. Well, Jonah just wanted to get away from his wife and stuff, <laughs> some shit like that. But yeah, man. Um, Jonas was the guy that got uh, swallowed by a by fish. By the whale, yeah. He was, and he just and chilled then, there. For, and then for it spat days. him out. Yeah, I think he wasn't... He wasn't um, inside, inside. Yeah. He was, just he was just chilling in the mouth and maybe he mouth. didn't taste very well. I don't know. Maybe he was just poor and poor people taste bad. I don't know what the fuck. He was poor? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I just, I'm just making... I'm just shame making shame for that here. fish because... Immigrants are usually. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> just, just, just uh, never mind. Yeah, never, that, mind uh, never mind. Never uh, mind. That, yeah, that, we, that's we'll distasteful. That. We won't. We won't actually yeah, get so, into immigrants. Emanzi. So, so if you are in Pumalanga and uh, you are listening from Mozambique, uh, hey, sh- please be safe. If this, uh, if this cyclone Eloise comes and Eloise is everything, please be safe, man. We want you all to be alive. And if you're yeah. in Pumalanga as well, make, 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 make right with your family members and your cousins. Uh, in case you need to move in, <laughs> and uh, maybe just uh, switch provinces for a little bit, for a little man. Bit. For like for like a week. Mm, yeah. I mean, uh, just for a week, just move away from. That's actually what should be happening, right? Mm. That, that, uh, just move away from the places also, where they're predicting it might go. And, there's no uh, there's no beach in Pumalanga, ne? is there? I feel like they might. Yes, in Pumalanga, it's just the kind of province when I think of the deputy president. 
it's the kind of province you go to. You told me there's a piece somewhere in there that you didn't know had shoreline. But it's got something there. <laughs> it, <laughs> it just it just strikes me as that kind of province. <laughs> it can't be catered in all the way up to Mozambique. Eh? No, 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 no. I doubt. I don't think so. Yeah, there must be a little bit of Mpumalanga there. Yeah, it's like Mpumalanga light. <laughs> I feel like there's a piece that is Mpumalanga, Swaziland, and then Mozambique. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's what like, it is. Uh, so that everyone can get some ocean light. I know. And I've been Isn't to... Isn't there a beach in uh, Swaziland? Like, what? I, I think there should be. There should must be something there. There should be. There should be. There's beautiful women there. Obviously, there should be a beach. And John, why is it that there's such a concentration of beauty? Is there? Or is it like a perception? Swaziland. Or do you think it's a perception because of what the king does? Or do you think it's I like don't for real? No, for all real? I've seen, all, I'm just gonna say. Uh, the, I have the, a friend who's Swatina, mm. and when I look at the pictures that I uh, that are associated with him somehow through social media, whether it's his friends, whether it's what he posts up, mm. one would assume that there are very many beautiful. Women yeah, man. Also, also, the exports that I've seen. Hey, sorry to use the okay, word exports. Okay, 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 <laughs> but, okay. But, I, but, I, but, I, but you know what I'm trying I'm to say. Yeah, though, <laughs> the most yeah, sexist saying. episode we've had I yet. Know. <laughs> we are just. <laughs> Climbing up the ladder here. <laughs> we are not letting up. Hey, but but from 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 the talent that I've that I've just seen from from Swaziland in my in my experience has been yo like super hot. Like yeah, no, very, I must say, now, the friends I see, I mean the pictures I see from the mm. friend I have on social media. Mm. Um, yeah, I think Amanda yeah. Dupont as well. She's swati. I could be wrong, swati. but I think she's like half swati. Half I white. can tell you the way they talk mean. though Ooh, is very fat. suited for hot fat. women. I can tell you that. I, like, I just like the fact that it's Zulu yeah. with a T. That's what I see in, in the. It is, but with a T. Oh, oh, okay. With a T. With a T. All right. Invert. I get. Invert. I get. Hey, hotel. Invert. Maybe I don't even know how you say it. I don't know how you say it. Invert. <laughs> there was another song, man, that was popular. That was that was the uh, South African jam at some point. Um, what a Swati song! You know, yeah. Well, it was like a it was a house song, but it had Swati lyrics. Eh, I actually do not. Oh, me na benzagi unga. Eh, 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 being mm. the only female DJ from a Deben, mm. always representing though. You doing must the say, you must say, always doing the things. Uh, DJ isn't just like uh, no. DJ Sindo is like before. It's like uh, before you had DJ Zinke, Zinke, you had yes, DJ you had Sindo. Z- did, yeah, DJ Sindo. And why is she? I hope she is she still doing her thing. I think you so. know, with the OGs, they just out here producing for people, helping Probably, people, ne? just making money because everybody knows they're so bad. Yeah, 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 and they they in the background. They must getting, be doing that. Getting we, getting we getting getting those proper royalty. Checks, How about those, that song? I wanna check. get, I wanna get, mm. just, just to, to get, get my swag right. You know that I'm a winner. 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 That was a dope joint. Boom, man. Boom, that was a dope. We had, we had brilliant boom, boom, songs. Boom, boom. <laughs> ah, but we've seen the always. We had brilliant, we had brilliant songs, man. But ish, this thing's about to cut now. I wanted to get to, to our next expo. So I'm going to try and do the, the quickest the quickest uh, close up. You're still here on the Easy Just podcast with myself, Over Game Mura, and Gwanda Dora. We just talk about everything else and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, peace, and much love. No, the, the next segment, not the next shit. I fucked it up. <laughs> the next segment. Hey. I know that died a painful death. Eh? Yeah, off ramp by our fuck. Alright, cool. Uh check you out in the next segment, like in a second or two. Yeah. Camera for my camarado. Camera. Camarado for my camarado. Yeah. Gonna what is there's something in, in, in Bad Boys, what do you mean? Ah, the fuck, um I Bad Boys for Life. No, 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 no. no. But you, you shot me in the something, ass. Something in the, in, the, in the camera. It was said by, it was in Bad Boys 2. Uh, the devil is not welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's my favorite know. line. Also. The devil. No, no, my, my, my it's the here. <laughs> the devil is not welcome here. <laughs> I remember that. Mine is like, you shot me in the ass. <laughs> Damn, I shot you in the ass. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not saying I didn't, but I'm not saying I did. But damn, somebody shot you in the ass. Who shot you in the ass? The who? The who be you? <laughs> that <part. laughs> I remember but, that. Yo, That's man. in the video. Bad store, Boys Two, yeah. yeah. You don't want to watch the if there's a movie that you don't want to watch with me is Bad Boys One and Two because I know we're fucking script. But three was bad. nice. Did we watch three together? Hey? N- did we? 
I feel like we did. I did we not watch remember. Bad Boy 3 together? Did, uh, yes, we did. We went to the thing. We went to the UNESCO together. Yeah. yeah, I had, yeah, I I had tickets. We just went. I, I don't, don't remember. remember what happened with Bad Boy 3. You yell in the left. I remember uh, nothing. The captain died. The captain. The captain died. You remember the captain that always said? Oh, it was the you kid. You too! The captain! It, it was captain. the kid The kid and his mom. Yes. Yeah, the yes, kid and his yes, mom. Yes. Yeah, but it wasn't mm. very memorable. You think it was memorable? I love that. Like Maybe the movie. The movie. Like I, I remember know. the actions of the first movie. I remember the the you know the the Porsche versus the yeah. what, whatever. Nah, that's how you drive that from now. Like, nah, that's how you drive. Yeah, and the, 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 mm. I remember all of those different Amara. Even with two, there's I remember stuff. there's memorable stuff. Amara three, uh, not so. Ah, it's the same thing with nice like, car though. Yeah, it's the same thing with like Matrix one, two, and three. You remember one? You remember two, three? Uh, because it was the closing, the closing section. No, you're not getting weight. You're still a skinny motherfucker. What the fuck? True, but here. for I, I remember Matrix Three though. <laughs> I, 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 I remember Matrix Three. The war, the war, the war scene. The re- yeah, the reason I remember it is that final fight where mm. he's like turned into flames and there's only mm. the sunglasses yeah. left and he's fighting Neo. I know it's very memorable mm. content. Anyway, we are still here. Um, now we just branched off talking about movies and everything else. But what we were supposed to have done, true to form. Of the the, the 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 way the show always goes is you are back at it again. <laughs> uh, the Easy Just Podcast with myself, Obake Moro and Kwandan Dokes. Um doing these things, telling you everything under the sun about everything and about nothing at all, but mostly everything because uh, it keeps you interested and you stay on the show and uh you listen to what we gotta say especially when there's uh important things happening in in in, in our lives and pandemics and uh and economics and and stuff like that you know what i'm saying oh yeah man yeah. um i'm gonna talk about um something that's emanating from a bunch of like imagine them eh? imagine there's companies all over the world mm. and all these companies make a whole lot of money about google about mm. facebook about alphabet i don't know the yeah, yeah, alphabet or i don't know what alphabet, what alphabet is, is like another subsidiary of google Oh, real? Um, yes, and also I think owned by some very rich Chinese person. Also, I could be very wrong. But and there's a big wh- wh- whoever that. sells oil for Saudi Arabia, yeah. uh, b- a couple of Trump's companies, like the thousand richest companies in the world, mm. they go to one place. They go to Davos mm. every year. Mm. And they have this thing called the World Economic Forum. Davana, Davovo. Headed Davisio. up by some uh, German guy. Right, is, it, is, it, is his name Davos as well? <laughs> it sounds like a. T- his name is like uh, Schwab, <laughs> something like that. Schwab, 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 something like that. Okay. And at this place, ne, there's basically all of these organizations. Mm. Cyril was also there. Uh, Johan Rupert, I think, was also there. Yes. Uh, the uh, Tabumbegi people. was also there. Um, and they go there and they basically talk about the world and where the world should go going forward. Mm. Oh, they've got this theme going on. That's called uh, the Great Reset. Yes. And the Great Reset, what it basically is, is that they saying because of the COVID, ne? Mm. Eh, the COVID, everybody's dying and there's a sickness. And the economics that's happening is that there's an opportunity for you to kind of redo everything. Yes. And their tagline, and I want you to tell me what you think of their tagline. Their tagline is, you will own nothing and you will be happy. How did that make you feel? S- fucking depressed. <laughs> you will own nothing and you will be happy. No, I want to own things and be happy. Can I can I do that? Can exactly. I exactly no 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 that's true, that's true. <laughs> and that's exactly the backlash that they've gotten yeah. from a whole lot of people it's that are more from depressing. Um, Yeah, so so what it's, I, I, it's like going to your to, to your girlfriend and whatever and you be like, We're not gonna do anything in this relationship. You will have nothing. You will have absolutely nothing. But I'll make you happy. How, Sway? How? How sway? Okay, I know maybe that was a terrible. Line. Okay, that was a bad example. <laughs> yeah, I but like you know what I'm saying? I Terry Crews that whole thing. But <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> but it's still like no man. You you want to you want to own things. You want to have you have 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 opportunity and and uh, uh, a chance at opportunity and, and growth. It, it aids obviously in your happiness. I so, agree. You know what I mean? Own I nothing agree with and you one hundred percent. But from for for some reason. That is their perspective. And you know, who would you guess if, if if I were to ask you to guess who is having your perspective in terms of politics globally, the far right or the far left, who would you guess? I'm guessing the far left. 
It's the far right word that has your perspective. That is, okay. it's the far right. Ah, oh, but it's but it's always always been. It's the far right that says that we must keep ownership of property and our property rights must be held up above all mm. the other rights or whatever. And um, but I understand that perspective, and I'm happy that you've taken that perspective. Otherwise, mm. we both would have taken the left perspective, which is right. not entirely correct and doesn't give us the most that it could. Mm. So these guys, I think what they're saying, and I'm not playing advocate for them. I don't mm. even quite understand what the fuck the World Economic Forum is saying. Yeah, and I don't advocate for the richest people getting together in some village in Switzerland and deciding and all of us deciding what all of us for the yeah. world. absolutely not with that mm. but it seems like it's what like they're Illuminati saying vibes. basically <laughs> basically <laughs> don't don't tell me they're not sacrificing anything yeah there. they are, they are. Like they but mm. anyways so I think what they're saying from uh, so we watched some stuff on YouTube and I watched some stuff on YouTube when I heard about this great reset because I was mm. like, what is this thing that these really important people with a whole lot of money think should happen with the world's future? Because they do have a lot of influence, right? Because they influence the stock exchange, they influence our lives, everything. They run the companies they that influence we need the price for of everything. toilet paper and bread. Exactly. If Johan Rupert is there, you must understand that that guy. He, he influences the breakfast that you eat, the news that you watch, um, you know, the car that you're driving. Mm. He has interest in almost everything. The food that you're eating, Probably owns the, the kind of food that is at the shop, depending on how much money you have to buy, whatever you want. So he's like that guy. Mm. He's that important. Basically, the great research is that they say because of COVID and the destruction that, that that's caused in terms of, you know, economic systems and having to print a lot of money for stimulus. Mm. They're saying there's a unique opportunity for the people that print that money. Abo, you know, most imaleneng. For nobody, man. Imaleneng. Imaleneng. Big Zulu man. Big Zulu. Big Zulu man. Big Zulu man. Shaka Zulu. Big Zulu money. Big Zulu money. Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, man. Gapa, yabona ipluko ye printwood. Yay! I'm talking when I... Yo! Yay! When, when, when I'm a tear, so you know that line that runs from here all the way down. Big money. And it's like, it's like butter but pass straight. If you want to cut an orange in half, you put it on your pants. On your pants and just... Back up. <laughs> Maleningi. The, the, the million is like iriri. What would say? Guys, IMF right. people, you know, yes. World Bank people. Mm -hmm. Those guys where South Africa goes to go ask for a loan. Mm -hmm. If you remember some time ago, they said to go to the government, we had to go ask for a loan. We're not happy because these people that are asking for a loan won't even be alive to pay it to those kind of things. Saying, la, 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 la. Those guys, economic forum, the World Economic Forum is basically saying, those guys must put stringent measures on the loans that they give out to countries that are in distress now because of COVID. Mm. They must say, Uguti, okay, if you're going to start a business, it must be a green, it must be a green business in so and so and so respects. Right. So you must have carbon taxes. Um, you must, the energy that you use must be in some kind of way. So that would mean you can't just use coal like the way that we use coal. Mm, it has to be some um, kind of renewable energy yeah, or, source. Yeah, or it has to be like some sort of technology that makes coal not emit too much carbon gases yeah. or something like that. Like if coal is burning, like we can, it has to be something else, not like, hey, put an afdak and that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, because be be now we just have afdak. It's <laughs> not like an afdak thing. Yeah, hey, you're blind. No, no, it has to be something. It has to be <laughs> yeah, like exactly. a technologically exactly, advanced exactly, afdak, like, yeah. basically. It, 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 it basically, so they're wanting this. They're saying that there's a, a specific opportunity Opportunity yeah. in terms of economics to put those things in place, and they're saying that before the those world Imalaning, before Imalaning gives out those loans to mm. these countries, they must put those things in place, and that is then, the opportunity we have to actually have a green economy that won't destruct the world in the next hundred or whatever years mm. that they say global warming will actually destruct the world, mm. which is a serious thing, bro. Because if you watch as a you know David Adborough, yeah. The the really the old accent. Englishman, where you just hear his accent as, and as think you that the you have sitting. to believe whatever he, he actually says. says, right? Because everything David Attenborough says is the truth. Exactly, exactly, exactly. He's too old and too British yes. to be lying. Tabo Mbeki and Cyril Ramaphosa. Mbeki, Mbeki. If, sitting. Do, do you know in, what I want to say? In Davos, David Attenborough doesn't say Mbeki. What is it? Mara. White South Africans. Say my big. Kanja, ni swe. Kanja, ni swe. Kanja, ni swe. Aye man, aye man. I don't, I don't believe. Say. And also, there's no M A in big. Where do you get the A from? Hi man, hi man. Exactly. Chaikops. But anyway, so um, so that's the great reset, and these guys are pushing that agenda. But luckily, a lot of governments are actually Zotini, not nationalist leaning, but um. 
I actually don't know how to say it, but they like the red party in America, oh, which is like the stance they're... that you're taking. And I agree with you for yeah. taking that stance because different people take different stances. And we must always accept whatever stance is taken by whomever and only engage that person on the stance that they've taken. And right. I think that you are correct to take that stance. Yeah, I man. also take the stance that if I want to own property, I must be able to own property. If there is a system that comes into place, which, okay, let me say um, a utopia is mm. a place where you have a place to stay. Right. You have a car. You have a job. Mm. You have access to all the amenities that you think you have to pay for now. Mm. They are provided for you. Would you still want to own things if you owning if you owning things means other people can't own things? Yes, I still want to. Even if it means other people can't own things. <sighs> look, I look, I don't I don't I don't know because I don't I think I think I'm not, I'm 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 just in my own personal capacity. I'm selfish enough to say yes. I'd, I don't I don't know if I want to do it at the expense of other people, but I do know that I want the opportunity to grow as much as I can with the ideas and the capabilities I have. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, not necessarily at the expense of other people. And I think my existence should allow me to do that regardless of if things are provided for me or not. Because otherwise, all I'll be doing is living under the radar and just um, existing with, with, uh, with, with just things provided for. That is true. You know what I mean? That's I don't true. want that. Because you wonder where you're coming from. You're coming from a sense of, I want to have agency yes. over my life. Yes, exactly. And that is a right in which you have. Mm. So for a state to come and say that, um, I think we've gone out of camera. It's fine. We will, um, let's, let's keep it going. Basically what this is, it is these guys are basically saying, let's have a global state mm. where those things are paid for for you and you don't need agency outside of um, sitting and us taking care of you as the state. But we will do this and i think this is the sing and song of it and look i may be wrong i haven't mm. i haven't read all the documents i just watched a couple of videos that right. i watched it sounds like they're saying by us implementing this system we will lift everyone else from poverty because right. of the perspective that we'll take and then what you'll be relinquishing is only that agency but because a lot of people don't have that agency to get those things we will then implement a system where you don't require agency, but everybody gets things. No, you, then, like, 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 can you understand it from like, I, no, that? It, it, that uh, I get it, and it's it, it sounds fucking evil if you ask me. It sounds really evil because the thing is, if somebody can provide that much for you, and they because if they if they're gonna provide all of this for you, it means they're going to keep you at a certain level. And I agree. They, and, I agree. And and and, agree. And, and, and and within all of that. They have absolute control over what you are exposed to, the information that you have, because they're trying to get you into a comfortable space where you don't have to question anything. I agree. You know what I'm I saying? Agree. I agree. So now it means you you can never you can never innovate, you can never grow, you can never do anything beyond what you expected to do because hey, be grateful we are providing this and this and that for you. You know what I mean? That's and I don't want to be. I don't want. I don't want to live that kind of life. I I hear you. And 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 here's what they saying. They saying, and I'm only playing devil's advocate, but right. I'm with you. They saying that look, because there are a lot of people that cannot exercise the agency that you might have as mm. Oba King, and you as Oba King might be somebody that already earns a salary and probably owns a property. Mm. So you own things in the world. People like you are informed. They own things when they vote. The vote is very informed. They want things to go a certain kind of way because they have interests, because they own things. Right. But there is a huge sect in society, maybe half, maybe even more than half, mm. that owns nothing. So they don't have an agency to have certain interests in the way things go because they own nothing. Mm -hmm. So those people, if the rich people of Davos are saying we implement this thing... Mm. How does the idea sound to you that we alleviate all of those people out of poverty by way of whatever these instruments we put in place, green economy, mm. nanani, 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 and we lift them out of poverty and then, but the, the thing is, they won't really have agency. We'll provide everything for everybody because the system will allow for that. That's the thing. I'm almost wanting you to get to the level of like uh, the um, the far right people that are against this are yeah. saying that because they already own things. And so they can see that the people putting these um, laws into place or wanting them to be put into place 
are like these uh, richest companies in the world. So yeah. they know all of that. But the people that those richest companies are wanting to help mm. don't know don't about know. Davos, don't know about the World Economic Forum, don't know Uguti. It's the richest organizations that want to have a green economy and share the wealth amongst all of everyone but, in but the world. But there's a, there's Even though I agree that it's evil to do it that is, but because also, they will keep them at that level because they're, they're the richest organizations also, in the also, world. Also in the same thing, in the same sense, there's an inevitability, I think, I could be wrong, but there's an inevitability that exists within that um, within that framework, right? You take these people, argumentally, you, you, you lift them out of poverty, which means you've given them a different status. You're not just yeah, providing... Yeah, and information. You've given them a different you give status, you've given them information, um, and that means evidently they will get... They will become informed. And it doesn't yeah. mean that when somebody is poor and in dire straits, they don't want the same agency that the rich people have. Because, yeah, they want you know it. I mean? They want it. It's not, poor people are not stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think this is what, 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 what these big governments and whatnot always do, is that they treat the poorest as if they are stupid as if they can't be they can't have their own agency on, on on which what 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 is it that they want out of their lives because they don't have information the only difference between somebody that's quote unquote stupid and that that is smart is info is information that's that's yeah the, it's information you know I what agree mean? with you on that, that is that is it so now when somebody gets to a certain level where now they have access to information now they have um they they they, they are quote unquote um enlightened right and they they now see the, the 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 importance of having agency, the importance of owning things, the importance of building wealth, the importance of lifting you know um, their families also out of poverty and elevating everybody else, and not just staying in a in in, at, in one space because hey we should, we are grateful that this government has just provided for us. But what if I put it to you that when you look at history? Those people haven't gained that agency yet. No, they haven't. And only people that have been able to get property and own things have been able to. But poverty is perpetuating and is perpetuating faster and greater than wealth. Yeah. Because wealth is going to a concentrated few mm. while poverty is going to the majority. Obviously, because the, the, the wealthy need the poor to remain poor, to stay poor, at a poor at, 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 to stay at a certain level of poor. But you realize that as you say that you are on the side of the wealthy now. You're not on the side of the poor in terms of the argument for the what the World Economic Forum wants. To no, do. that's not what I, what I'm saying is the, the the what I'm saying is the rich treat the poor that way because is there someone knocking at the door? It's probably the food. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me let's let's pause for a little bit. Um, let me just handle this real quick. Basically, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> quickly, we just had to, we, we just came from a quick lunch break. Um, <laughs> yeah. Burp, yeah. Burp, burp. Burp, burp, that's all. So basically, yes. Um, continue. what these guys are saying, they're saying if we, in if, like, you know what the UN is, right? The mm. UN is basically like a globalist agenda that we as the global community will oversee certain things so that bad things don't really, really happen yeah. like they did in World War Two. Mm. These guys are now saying as the World Economic Forum, we as the World Economic Forum, just like the UN, want to oversee that economics happen in a just sort of way going forward because we have a huge crisis mm. that we can take advantage of, right? Mm -hmm. They're saying, okay, let's have poor people, let's have everybody not really own anything Maybe. and have a globalist agenda where we coordinate as all the countries of the world it will be controlled by us the richest organization in, in, in the world you know all thousand of us mm. and as you become a rich organization you can probably join this Illuminati mm. kind of uh, level of yeah. richness but what we can guarantee the world we won't we, we can say we'll take away some of your rights as a sovereignty mm-hmm but in this global community, we will all coordinate such that the economy is green so that the world won't destruct in however many years David Attenborough says they will. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we'll ensure that even the poorest of the poor, so some guy in South Sudan who whose only livelihood may be to drink... Herd a cow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That cow dies... He's, After he's he gone. eats it, he's gone. He's gone. You know moving what I'm saying? Moving right along. That person will be uplifted from <laughs> yeah. from, from from poverty and move, move. on up <laughs> in, the, in in the ladder of, yeah. of 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 how can I say human development? You know, he won't be richer than everybody else, but he won't have to. And it doesn't. But also, you know, his, his his fate won't be tied to a cow. <laughs> True, but also it doesn't mean that when when you reach that level, then you are content. 
Because that means that they 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 basically like explaining ex- expecting people to just. But like, they're saying move beyond content, and, well, and, and just and, be happy. Uh, yeah, I don't know what kind of happy they're talking about <laughs> without being content. <laughs> but <laughs> they're saying move beyond your your perception of happiness. Yeah. Game, which is maybe a very individualized now, but move it to more of a herd immunity <laughs> of happiness. That is how my passwords. How my passwords. How my passwords. Herd immunity of happiness where, where we can say that a lot of the people that would have been poor over gang because their fate is tied to a cow to to you know very dire circumstances yeah. those people can then be uplifted and have the basic things that we think that human rights um allow you to have education food nutrition enough to dream, dream. enough to basically dream, dream. and then, to but, make it even such that but, even but, though but you'll never grow beyond your dreams yeah be beyond but you will you will how so how? so so here's how but it's actually no different from how it is now, right? Living beyond your dreams would be we are gonna power go my conversations about economic forum yeah, somehow. Yeah, yeah. If you work hard enough to earn that kind of money yes. in the system that they have, which will be a global system. Uh-huh. Yeah. you make enough money, you become a one in one thousand company who payana and blue chip stock. Then you are there. Yeah, which means the, the the current state that like I sh- I want to live in a, in a, in a state where I can get there. So m- my problem is if you, you, look, you know, with these people, like they will uplift. Ne? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I do that uh, uh, because they'll uplift the poorest of the poor from going into yeah, a level, but, but they won't but uplift you getting into an elite level. You see what I'm saying? So so basically, they kind of own your life because you you are you you are uplifted, and this upliftment is giving to you, right? And then you reach that level. Now, you are going to be expected to stay there. And now this thousand piece people, or however many they are, they basically own the world. They basically own yeah, the rights. Yeah. And they and they put a cap on to how far you can progress. Sure. They put a cap on that, you know? But here's my thing, then. Abo Schwaus, Nabo Economic Forum, all those guys, we didn't mm. vote for them, for them to be even thinking like this. Mm. But... Don't you feel if how about when I put it to you that even though we didn't vote for them, they are the people that are actually in power. Of course they Facebook are. Facebook makes you act how you act as much of as course WhatsApp they are. makes you act how you act. So they are de facto the people in power already. Yeah, because they they are they 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 made the things that make the money. The only thing that makes and the world And what if I put it to money. you that on top of that because they are the people that control the money, yes. a lot of it, then the fact of what we want uh, an actual government to be, they actually are the global government. Whether we want to say we voted for that or not, we voted with it through our interaction and our money. Yeah. And what we use, the contraptions that we use every day. But if you think about it, government doesn't have money. Think about it logically. Government doesn't really have money. The, 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 who has money? Corporations have money. And then they fund government. And because the only money that government has is tax. That's the only model of payment that government has. That's right? money from everybody. That's money from everybody, but that's that they they including not including private industry. Yeah, but it's 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 paid into government, so government can do whatever that they do for regular. But they don't generate money with rules and regulations. No, sure, sure. sure. They don't generate money. They make rules of how other. They decide what we are supposed to do within the with framework the money, that we live yeah. in. But they don't generate money, which means this is why private like corporations are always going to be influential. This is yeah. why, um, yeah, the corporates are always going to be influential with them. And wherever politicians are, businessmen are right next to them. Yeah. And they can, because there is a set of rules of how you're supposed to live does not have a, 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 a money-making structure to it. Yeah. These people have product, they have customers, they have demand, they have supply. Yeah, it, and it's corporate. Remember, yes, like, it's World corporate. Economic Forum is corporate. It's corporate motherfuckers yeah, that are making yeah. the show. That are making the, the it's private industry. Yeah, exactly. That's your your Bill Gates or whoever the yeah. uh, Rupert. That's yeah, a private. Yeah, that's yeah, a private yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. business I'm motherfucker. You, I'm with you. I'm with you. Everybody. So government doesn't actually like what is the what is the product of government if you think about it? It's to make the environment. Make the environment such that business can happen. I, I agree with you. you. See so, what I'm so saying? about Davos, about Economic Forum, one thousand people hey. there. The actual government, I want to say, yes, in a way, it's those private industry. Yeah. Okay, so I'm with you there. Yeah. That so so hence hence they will be the ones that are that are that are, you know, sounding the bell. Eh, uh, and here's uh, is what I think the beauty is then of what the Economic Forum is saying. Mm. If it's like that already, 
they're not actually changing that part of it. They're just uplifting the poorest of the poor into the bracket where we people won't complain about these motherfuckers' okay. human rights anymore. Also, also here's this thing. Here's here's the thing again about lifting people out of to out of a certain part of uh, poverty and yeah, like in, like below the poverty below line, the poverty line and, and putting them above the poverty line because an unemployed un un um unemployed and ineffective person or an an an, 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 an contributing person, whatever the case may be. Is an expense. Um, um, eleven. Um, eleven. Is an expense. So if they can get you to a place where you can become a working class individual, not just a poor person that's going to be living off of uh, government expenditure, which means you know food from from feeding schemes or whatever the case may be, you are now elevated to a working class individual, which means you can come into a corporation and work a menial job. Because what they do actually want is more people that whom whose whose labor they can use. You know what I mean? But uh, and I know it sounds crazy. And it, it's it crass, sounds freaky, but yeah. But what they're saying is that you won't need to do that to an individual. So basically, people can have the agency of a hobo, but they will have the amenities and the health services and the food available to live the life that you and I are living, but, even though they won't be homeless in terms of their. But agency. then, but then, what's the next thing that uh, that 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 the the hobo is going to do? When 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 they're not technically a hobo anymore, they're not gonna they're not gonna just like chill and not do anything. They Everybody can go wants... ahead and try and be part of the one thousand organization yeah. that are influencing World Economic Forum if they want. Mm, yeah, but or also but also but also they're gonna wanna do something. I mean, they wanna wanna work at something. Yeah, they're gonna wanna wanna be a part of something. Yeah, uh, some kind of structure because they have lives that they have to. They have families that they want to feed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And ultimately you can't ever no I don't think any government structure any life structure can allow you to just like live and exist without having to do something uh and and work at providing for your family yeah. or or growing yourself to whatever that you want to be. Fe- of like or feeding, feeding your agency and, somehow. As and a yeah, government. and 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 it's not everyone that wants to be top level 1000 yeah, yeah. five you know fortune 500 company but you at least want to have the agency to hey let me build a house yeah, let me have yeah a, I agree, if i, I agree, have a I family agree. let me feed them and that means you getting into some kind of corporate workforce who benefits from that abu tavos exactly 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 no but I'm, i i think the thing is when you think about it do you think it's healthier to think from a perspective of who benefits from it or from a perspective because when you say who benefits from it yeah i could say like what, one part of the argument is Abu Davos, Abu Davos are gonna benefit. Mm-hmm. Ah, wa, <laughs> but somebody else on the other side, with speaking maybe for the voiceless and the people that would be pulled from the poverty line, mm. they're saying, ah, oh, actually, we're also gonna be part of that. We're also we're gonna be pulled out of the poverty line, and our talents can have a chance in the world to mean something. Because yes. right now, if you're a boy who's dependent on a goat being alive for the next six months for yeah. you to live in South Sudan. Maybe you are the greatest MC the world has ever known. Yes. And you could teach Nas something. Yes. But Gogo, we will never know because that goat actually dies within the next six months. So my argument, and I don't know which part of the of the thing of the of the argument this falls on. Give people if you have the means to uplift people from 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 the from dire poverty, however way you're going to do it because you are doubles with money. Yeah. Do it. But then don't do it at the expense of taking away the agency of people that's going to come naturally after you've uplifted them because that's going to happen anyway. That's true. Hey. You know what I mean? You know, I wonder what they say to that. I mean, I haven't read any of the reports, but they definitely, because we have to admit that if mm. you're going to have a globalist agenda, if all of the countries are going to be working together to do something that is uniform throughout the countries, mm. then one body has to kind of govern that. Right. And if and if there has to be that, then it's probably going to be, say, the World Economic Forum, let's say they start a new structure, it doesn't matter. But that will mean that you are taking power away from the sovereign nations as they are themselves. Mm-hmm. So go they work less like provinces and more like uh, I don't know, they, they, but they work more like organizations that are toward like China. They're yeah. working more like provinces in China than provinces in South Africa yeah. or kind of countries in America. Yeah, and that's the thing that the far right is fighting against and saying that it will. But I wonder if we should look at it that polarized. I think that that's the issue. That's the mm. problem. That's how we always look at these problems. That we want to say we're on one side or maybe we're on the other side, and maybe actually one should just look at how things, how the things fall into place, mm-hmm. 
and then understand then what would benefit you or not benefit you. But the danger of that is that you might say yes to something. Kandi ya kawat. Ya kawat at some point. Yeah, no. I, 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 yeah, I get that. I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not a, a, a big fan of one world order. That's not like, I'm, I'm, I'm not. That is a, I'm what it is, you know? Yeah. But you know what struck me also over game is that Abo 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 was like one world order. They don't say that in the world econ- in in the economic forum website or on the video about the one world order. Mm. But it's those same ideas about one world order it's that we heard. It's the same shit. Kabo it's just guys, exact. Nabo it's it's way just, back it's just painted differently now. Mm. Now same it's stuff. called it's called the World Economic Forum. Yeah. It's now the same it's stuff. called the Great Reset. Now it's called all these things. But at the end of it all, you can see that it has one world order vibes to it. You know how they're smart about it though to me and what concerns me quite at the same time because Mm. I'm not quite sure where I lie in it. The fact that they take abo green energy, abo abo greenhouse gases, abo the you know the world uh you know climate change is a real thing. Because I'm a believer in climate change. I do think I do think though that the world I do think that the weather is acting crazier and crazier. No, it uh, you can you can news. feel it, and you there's 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 distinct differences that we can see on in how the, the weather has been behaving from now. You when, see what yeah, the anchor is a World that. Economic Forum. The anchor is that actually all of these things that we wanted to put in place in terms of when you when you give out these loans to organizations are working against. The primary goal is climate change. Mm. They're saying that if we don't do those things, we might not have a planet where a kid is actually dependent on a goat. Well, then what do you... I don't know then. What, then what I, do you I don't do? know. I don't know. <laughs> I, as next, I haven't seen a weather report. I'm talking about something I saw on YouTube now. I, I, that's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Maybe it's going to happen. Maybe it's going to happen. And then we'll see. But do but, 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 but you know why I'm, I'm, I'm actually adding yeah. on on it, Obergang, is that mm. when I look at business ne, and how we've seen business, like my city, you know, Obama, Obama, Tam Tetange, uh, industrial revolution. Mm, mm, mm. All of the industrial revolutions have, to me, if you believe in global warming, have aided or sped up in global warming. Yes, of course. Right? Of course. And so if they have done that, it it's makes all, sense It's all for these me. gases and all these industrial industrial things exactly. that exist, that, that, that disturb how fuel, all of these things, um, yes. All of those carbon, things. Carbon, carbon emissions. Exactly, all the, exactly. And it's, it's things that, are, that we, 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 we became... Uh, yeah, they became um, aware of the changes that 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 those things created. We became aware of later, but the only After thing that we were seen how much damage, how much damage did. they do. Yeah, it's, it's the same things like spilling oil, spilling oil into water. At some point, what was probably legal as fuck, and then at some point they discovered, yeah. oh shit, our sea, our sea uh, life or ocean life is uh, is is at stake here, and you know. That's happening. Any, but all of these things, man, they threaten one and one thing. They it's threaten, stake, they threaten but, profit. But uh, we found good. It's actually just Nigerians like, living here. That's the thing. You know that, that, I mean? that's basically how it's been. Yeah. So it's it's all of so these things. So are they once. not correct then, Obagang? If mm. the World Economic Forum is saying in that in that same vein, Apple we're saying actually it's Nigerians that are fishing here. It's Nigerians that are living here. We can't just say for the sake of business and the laws of ownership. These guys can do as they please and get more oil out of here for the sake of the economy rather than the sake of people's livelihoods. You know, because the people that live here are below the poverty line. Yes. You know, they're the ones that can't fish here anymore. Yes, maybe they can sell petrol, but I mean, we're definitely ending their livelihoods in the next 30, 50, 60 years if yeah. we let them do oil here instead of them fishing here. That's the kind of mindset that they're saying should be applied to the loans that come out of these bodies. I don't know, man. Like I want us to continue this thing. I just noticed now that the card is full. Um, I, yeah. wanna, I want us to continue. I want us to continue this because it's actually very fucking important. Um, so I'll, 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 I'll speak my next point. Um, and I think that will be the, the part where we close off this. Yeah, um, this, yeah, this yeah. Very we can close it off. We can close it off. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll be back. I think we've done well in terms of playing both sides of this argument yes. or staying on the fence and try and... Um, Give our perspectives in a way that's not leaning to one certain side. Because, I mean, the aim of the show all the mm. time is to inform people. As much as we want to make people laugh and we're having a great time. Mm-hmm. But the only way we can get longevity, people, and the only way we can keep you listening 
is, is if we say things that matter. Yeah. yeah. And so, so some of you are going to go look up the, the World Economic Forum and Davos and all these things. I'm definitely going to do that. And uh, check what side you're sitting on yes. and uh, what part of the argument you want to be on. Or maybe you're not sitting anywhere at all. Maybe you're just on the periphery. Pre- 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 on the periphery. Pre- 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 if you are on we'll the periphery. Pre- <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just one last point. Yeah. If you are on the periphery, <laughs> remember that your actions every day fall on different sides. Exactly. Exactly. And that is the way we're going to... We're gonna, um, Call it here, and we'll be back in a little bit because um, we have to do admin things. We'll be back after these messages. Message. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> like okay, you don't have to do that because now, ah, now we can't see each other. Ah, this is so bad. This is how professional we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is how professional. Chonga, it's Sunday, ne? And footies, pretend with Ilika, Lana, you have a chonga, Colana, Lana, 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 Lana. Grape juice, man. Grape juice, be man. But he's falling star. <laughs> grape juice. <laughs> I'm very concerned because when he's falling star, I balwang a ugu to Imelo or he's seven young or he balwang Jim McGregor. Like, McGregor, uh, McGregor, uh, grape juice. <laughs> Tell us what it is. We it's like I don't know. Grape juice. Maybe it's like this grape juice is just like a, a McGregor um, blend. Of, of of grape juice. Nonetheless, man. Um, Cho- yeah. <laughs> Says Buile. Uh, Push him and he sleeps. Uh, yeah. As we were saying earlier on, before uh, yeah, we, 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 took basically, a, we took a young off ramp. Yeah. But, when we think of the economic reset, maybe um, a good way to think about it is there are three layers mm. to to you know, let's say the social stratosphere of everybody on the planet in right. life. So there's like the bottom people, ne, or gang, and I mm. think we said that those people are the people that are say, let's say, below the poverty line, mm. and then you have another group of people that are above the poverty line mm. that uh, that we can say definitely, Oba gang and I fall into, right. and those are the people that are actually trying to exercise size agency trying to buy property you know and if you if 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 you, if you if you can be economically active enough you're trying to buy stocks you but you have a very good idea of information and when you vote your vote is based on what can get you more things because you already own yes things. sir and then above our level is the people that actually go to davos yes Abo, the Zuckerbergs, Johan the, Rupetti, yes. the money motherfucker, i think those the, are the people the, that went on behalf of sa yeah. but like basically the moneyed moneyed people that know how things work in Switzerland, Tina, we mm. don't know. We've just heard from urban folklore. Yeah. There's those three levels. Urban yeah? folklore is another word for YouTube. Eh, eh. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Basically, if you look at these three levels, then you see that the two sides of the Davos argument is that the Davos is saying that, okay, we put all of these stringent measures to all of the loans that go out to all of these countries that want money from us. So basically, as they print this money, these are the rules that we we'll put in place to how this money is used. Uh-huh. And they want to go for green economies and uh, more just ways to make fuel mm-hmm. and uh, all of these things that will basically lift up this bottom layer, people below the poverty line up above the poverty line into our layer and now become our competition. Yeah. <laughs> In life, basically, but yeah. but it'll be pulling a lot of people from above the poverty line in the same way that China has done for a big portion of its population until now. Yeah, um, but like if you look at uh, if you look at these these kind of countries like China, um, much as they have done that, and to to some degree benefited the. The, the the country in terms of maybe it's 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 it's, it's poverty state uh, the people are still remaining at one state and they can't do anything better from their lives because of they are kept at bay by those same systems you know it's and a very interesting is, point you're making it's a very interesting point you're making and my fear because that's 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 that communism thing I hear you. I you hear know you. What I mean? That's because my fear. what if we what if we all become about Jack Ma? Yes. I'm sure you must have saw yeah, of on the course. internet about Jack Ma has gone missing. He has gone missing. They're not sure who he is. Yes. Is it the communist government that's kidnapped him? What 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 yeah. what he? And then he made an appearance on the net where he didn't. I didn't watch it, but it didn't seem like uh, he seemed as free as somebody that has disappeared, but actually wants to come back and say, "Hey, and nothing was wrong. Yeah, I'm yeah, grand. Yeah, 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 but you know, yeah, it seemed like still. he came back in a very uh, communist party approved manner. Okay. If you say that. So, so, so I hear what you're saying, but 
what of the half a billion people or more that have been lifted from poverty or kind of from being below the poverty line in China? Those people now, I agree, aren't now powerful individuals in the economy or in, in you know, in, in justice or whatever. Maybe some of them are, yeah. but most of them are probably regular people now. Yeah, but then, but then they're not given, but then um, every decision is made for them. They, they don't really have freedom of speech. They don't... Um, they don't have as many rights that they should be afforded because they they are kept at their ransom is we made your life a little bit better than it used to be sure sure that, so they that, I hear so, you. so they, I hear their you. liberation is basically now ransom for the people in power to stay in power and to remain in power for generations on end and for power to remain within the same exact structure that it has been for years on end revolving around say family politics or whatever the case may be yeah, and yeah, they will I have you, no you, you. even access to that because hey we are so happy that we don't yeah. we are not as poor as we used oh, to be you have Thank to be master. within the communist party for a certain amount of you years. see i agree with you so that's but my problem here's the argument they're saying Uti, at the end of the day isn't poverty worse than you know because when you when you're impoverished you have no access to information yeah. you have no access to the economy if we say we will give you say like crudely speaking now for the sake of this example economic capacity until this level but you cannot pass this level until you are absolutely exceptional and uh, but exceptional i mean you I, have to be my family you, or you see what i'm saying something you can't really do <laughs> you will see but I will have pulled you from the place where you would have had absolutely no access to having a meaningful life. It's Stockholm syndrome, man. But you can get to here. It's Stockholm syndrome. In in it's, it's economic Stockholm syndrome. So it's not worth pulling all those people from here to here. It's not. It's not. It's 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 not worth keeping them at a, at a, at just one place after you've pulled them because you are, you are pulling them you are pulling them up enough to become to become disposable to you or, 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 or accessible to you because what you are actually trying to do, like I said before, anyone that, that cannot work is an expense. So once they get to a place where they can work, now they become um, a, a, a tool and you are going to forever keep them as a tool. So if, you're, if your way to uplift people out of poverty is nefarious, then who are you actually doing it for? Yo, man, you are... You, you're preaching today, son. You know what I'm saying? You're preaching today, son. I gotta be with you. You're preaching. That's, that's, that's what I'm I saying. I 100% agree that if you are not economically active, if the agency does not come from within you, yeah. me giving you an RTP house instead of a shack Check, yeah. does not make the economy better and no. does not make your... Uh, does not really change anything in terms of your positionality now in the Basically. system. Basically. I agree with you, but we have to be so careful, man, because I feel like... um. That the government will say they want to pull someone out of a shack and put them into a house with internet and uh, access to information and uh, uh, and and a, and a place to have a vegetable garden, mm. which is must let's say that's what the economic forum is like, kind mm. of pushing for. Um, like not in so many words, but we're trying to really simplify it and make it as uh, South African personal as we can. Yes, 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 yes. So instead of a shack, you can get an RTP house, you can get Wi-Fi, you can get, um, you can get, uh, uh, um, you know, photovoltaics, so you, so you can get like solar energy on your mm-hmm. roof, so you won't need the government so much and you can do all of these things, but you will have hit a ceiling in terms of the opportunities that you'll be able to get because you won't be able to get into the kind of system that'll be in place in terms of the government because it'll be so big and so powerful yeah. that the ways to get in there are beyond talent is basically because because also at. another thing that that I could also say once you've been so uplifted or whatever what are the other things that come with it are you afforded uh opportunity at education or not Ooh, but you know it's Are so you, powerful what you said Oba you know when you mean? said if you're not useful you become a tool you become a tool but I want to put it to you what if I put it to you and this is wild mm. what if I put it to you that if you peop- if you give people those amenities they they will become they will have more agency so the more you give to people say you gave people a basic minimum wage you gave them money for free they'd use that money to become, to have more agency and to be more economically active than being uh, Iguinyale cheese. <laughs> chilling there and just, just being Iguinyale no, cheese. No, yeah, no, 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 no country needs uh, Iguinyale. What do you think instinctively when I say that though? Do you think people would just dis- like, do you think like Masiti, the, 
not the child grant, but if the child yeah. grant was more money and it was given to say maybe even someone that is a graduate. So even a graduate was liable to get like a child grant kind of universal basic income thing. My city plan be 2000 rands or something. Uh-huh. Do you think that would make generally, and this is just, I mean, our opinion, we're yeah, just talking yeah. here, we're getting ideas out there. Yeah. Do you think it would make people more complacent and therefore create like these, uh, I'm a queen, with cheese, as we're saying. Or do you think it would create agency and people would it, use that it, money it to has, invest more? It has and the, be it has the capabilities of doing both because we've seen that with the grant, with the grant uh, saga grant, condition yeah. that yeah. we have in South Africa. It, 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 it look. It, there's no. I don't think it's a fail-safe option, and I don't think because people are people and people will exercise whatever if that it is they want to do, regardless of what the what what the actual rules are, right? It does give an opportunity for people to use it, use the money for the right reasons, and 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 um and uh, um and just ele- have more elevate freedom themselves and, 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 and have, have more, more freedom. real freedom. But in the same sense, it can it's how, you 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 are still going to get a certain sector, a certain number of people that will be complacent and think that this is my right to have this that I've been given. What by if Gav. what if they you say see? instead of saying that's my right, they say I have the freedom to be lazy. Say, you see what I'm saying, though. You, you. Uh, it, hence, I'm saying, but what, what have we seen with, 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 like, for example, um, the grants and the, the other, the other side of the coin when it comes to granting, when it comes to, uh, but again, uh, RDP houses and stuff. Is you okay. Know, it's no, no, no. F- those are great examples. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Because grants have shown that uh, the people that do earn each, each child grants, and, and I know because I'm privy mm. to the studies, people that take a child grant actually use it towards the benefit of children. Even men do that yeah. collect a child grant. Yeah. But when it comes to RTP houses, houses, and this is just I'm I'm not close to the studies, but from the things that I've heard and what I've mm. read. People rent out their government the houses, houses. To, if, to somebody else, and then they'll yeah. go. If they if they've been living in a shack before, or they don't mind living in a shack, they'll go live in the shack and they'll mm. rent out the RTB house. Because sometimes, typically, to, to Zimbabweans. Yeah, because you after after having a, a a better structure over your head, but you st- you still don't have the, the 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 means to make money. That thing doesn't really mean much besides the fact that now you don't get rained on when you're sleeping. Wow, you know I didn't actually you know I mean? see it from. That is intriguing to me because that's what happened. That's to show me how different perspectives are. Because for me, I saw it from the perspective of they're not looking at it like that. They're just saying, if I can make an extra buck and I'm already living in a shack, this doesn't mean this much doesn't to mean me. Much I can just me. go live in a yeah. shack because for me, quality of life is not about the type of, of infrastructure mortar. I have around yeah. me. Yeah, it's not because otherwise you still have to make money. You still have to earn a living, and if. And if you, you don't have any other means of making a living, what are you going to do? Mm. You know what I'm mm. saying? What are you going to do? Anyway, I think, man, we've, we've, gone, we've gone in on this one quite a lot. But this was an important it one, folks. It was an important if one. If we yes. got boring or, you know, you didn't <laughs> like it or you didn't understand who's on what argument meant- because somebody has to have a side. Yep. Look, this was an important topic. Um, if Cyril Ramaphosa went there with Johan Rupert and Utabombek, mm. you tell me who are the three more important people in South Africa. Kushota <laughs> 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 Trevor Noah. Kushota Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah, nobody who else is... is, 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 uh, is who else is that important? I don't know. Trevor Noah, and I can't think of somebody else. Now. Cyril is important because he's the president. Yeah. <laughs> Tabo is important because he is the only person that gets that respect outside of the president. Mm-hmm. Johan Rupert is important because... Okay, I know Trevor Noah is important because gay. It's a daily show. He can look okay. And what's the guys? Hey, what's the guys? Trevor Noah represents the people. Yep. Your aunt Rupert represents the business. Mm-hmm. Tabon Baker represents the people. The, but are not the young age. people. Yeah. The, you, 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 Everyone, but not young people. No, exactly. Silu Ramaphosa represents um, like administration go institutions go go. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I don't uh, know. yeah. Let's let's close this one off. Um, but we we we've spoken at length about it. You can make your own decisions. Uh, but go check out the videos on uh, the World Economic Forum that talk about uh, the Great Reset. And, uh, and, you know, comment. Tell us what you think. Yep. Tell us if you thought our analysis and understanding was totally off. Tell us if you think it was good or bad. Tell us what side of the argument you think you're on. Tell mm-hmm. us more. And uh, we've been basically been saying this over a picture that's, uh, that's on your screen right now. But we're going to drop all the links of, um, of everything that we've spoken about in the comments section and in the description section below. We'll see you right now. You're still on the uh, Easy Just podcast with Oba Kemoro and Kwan Dondo. We're going to be closing off. Ah, or something after this. Shoot, Tinduk. Yeah.
were actually talking about this yesterday with a friend of mine, like how um when we grew up every everyone every like fleet had a had a had a reason like you had a certain type of fleet for to call a girl you had a certain type of fleet for your friends you had a certain type of fleet for just being joyous and whatnot i don't know if that can you fleet one yeah i agree but yeah so which one is that one ah that's just the jovicho the generic jovicho there's that's like, I don't know, you had a soccer match or whatever. Yeah, you see, now I know the mm-hmm. flakes, but I didn't know the meanings. They had meanings, these things. And then we had one uh, with my friends growing up when we, we just <laughs> wanted to call like your boy and he's inside the house and you want to go in. We like, <laughs> and then they'll know that, yo, that's my boy. See, see, these things have the, meanings, man. These things have meanings. Mean. It seems <laughs> that when, <laughs> I, when you flate, you blow out the whole time. Yeah. When I do, you, you in here. <laughs> no, I can't. I, I do I do that though. Mine is a blow. It's a blow flate. I can blow. I can also do the two finger one in the mouth like this. Like two finger one in the mouth. Okay. Shit. That, yeah. That's what your two fingers in the mouth sound like. Ah, that's disgusting. Ah. Anyway. COVID. 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 <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, you're still with us here on the Easy Jazz podcast. You are fucking disgusting. What's that? Like, <laughs> uh, one day I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna punch you in the face, and then people are gonna see that. Uh, Either you're, that, you're with, or you're gonna orgasm you're with, right I'm in your to pants. Punch, I'm gonna punch you in the fucking face. That's what's gonna. I wanna, I will elbow you in the neck. That's what I will do. This is how you elbow me. <laughs> Jesus. Stop making that <laughs> that noise. Anyway, yeah, man. Uh, we've come to almost the end of the show. Uh, you're still here with us on uh, on the Easy Jazz podcast with myself, Oba Kemuru, and my very disgusting fucking co-host. A.K.A. <laughs> Yo, I almost swore at you in my mother tongue. And that would have been that would have been so fucking crap. Marawao. Yes, says Joe Blexer. Yo, anyway, yeah, man. So, Marawa. So, Robert. Ma- Marawa. <laughs> Robert Marawa. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, two, two, two very important discussions that we've had. Um, just quickly, want to remind you all that uh, you must subscribe and uh, and and share and comment and let us know what you think. Obviously, like I said, we're gonna be available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts pretty soon, so you can catch us there as well. Um, now, one of my favorite things to talk about, man, is uh, fight sports. I love fighting. I love combat sports. And things like that. And um, this past weekend, when you do get to watch this, obviously, um, the fight would have happened, which was the biggest fight um, of the lightweight division of the UFC uh, this past weekend. Um, UFC 257. What is the UFC? Ultimate Fighting Championship. Aha. Uh-huh. Yes, that's what it stands for. And uh, Mixed Martial Arts. And then, uh, yeah, the fight was between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier, man, what a fucking who upset! Are the, who who's fighting who? who? Conor McGregor. Who's that? Uh the Irish guy, the very from blowing Irish guy who thought he could knock uh Tokyo man, um Floyd Mayweather out, and then Floyd Mayweather. Floyd uh-huh. Mayweather I remember that guy. That's the, the guy, guy with the tattoo on his chest yes. of a tiger or something. Yes, that one. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and who was yeah. he fighting? He was fighting Dustin Poirier. Um, Who's that? Sounds like a uh, cowboy. <laughs> Who's that? Cow- cowboy is another guy. You talking? You thinking Cowboy Cerrone? That's another dude. That okay, McGregor okay, okay. Fucked up with uh, with with shoulder strikes in the first in the Who's first. Who's nice? Sounds very very American. God. Yeah. Who's no. this other the other guy? Puri. Puri. Yeah. Puri. Is it? Wallo Puri Illinois. Puri. Puri Illinois. It was. Was it? Was the first round or was the second round knockout? No, it was the second round. Why? I called it the first round knockout, man. It was actually the second round. Uh-huh. Um, that uh, that Conor, Conor like McGregor was whooped, man. You know what? Here's the thing. Uh, we, we you just watched a little bit of the fight. Yeah. Um, when that fight started, I actually thought it was gonna go Conor McGregor's way. I did. I did. You know why? Because he was. I looking... thought he was going to hit six runs. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to... At the wrong spot. 
Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just playing. I'm hey, hey. I I watched the highlights so I catch myself up. Yeah. Oba King actually watched. The I fight. watched the entire fight. So yeah, it was not so, six runs. So no, it was it was six punches. No more than six that. Punches, yeah, six punches. Yes, But but um, just come on. Um, Conor Conor McGregor came out of this, started out this fight looking very sharp, man. He was landing more strikes. He was more aggressive. He and he was like controlling distance very well, which is what you do, which is what you should do in 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 a fight. Like, are they? If if you could characterize the two of them, uh, or is each one of them a certain kind of fighter? What categories? Because I hear you saying making space, and I'm thinking, is the other guy not making space? So, is there categories to these fighters' styles or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, most most fighters have different strengths to them. Like, um, McGregor, for example, is a striker. Which means he, he, he so he's not a grapple guy. He has no, to no, have no, space no. so that he can strike. You. Yes, he okay. has to have space so he can strike you. But also, yeah. So in in a striking match, the person that maintain that that controls the distance between the fighters, like between just the person that controls the the distance, is usually the one that has the most advantage because they kind of one they dictate the pace of the fight mm. and they know exactly where they should be to hit you mm. and where they should be to be just out of reach so you can you can't you can hit them. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So that's okay. what I mean by controlling distance. Okay. And uh, McGregor was doing very well when the fight started because he was landing more. Does he kick a lot? Because I always see McGregor punching. He punches a lot, but he can kick. And he, he surprises you with a kick because he overwhelms you with, with a lot of punches. So you get used to just being hit with punches. Next thing, you get a flying kick to your, to your, head, to your head. You get a head oh, shot and then you're I gone. See, and he's won, a lot of, he's won a lot of fights that way where... He will overwhelm you with 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 um with with his arms, you know, with his shots, and then yeah. next thing you know, because you're just used to him boxing, you just get a kick out of nowhere. Mm. But mm. now these guys train differently, and they they approach different fighters differently. You and uh, I mean? you're gonna the, all the stuff that you just said now about mm. McGregor. What can you tell us about his opponent? Using the same kind of language that you just used to describe, uh, uh, because McGregor. I haven't I haven't watched a lot of Poirier's fight, but I think he is also a striker. I haven't most of his fights that I've seen, he's I don't I don't I don't ever remember him submitting anyone. Okay, um, I don't see I don't remember him uh, choking anyone out. So he's a super striker. He's also, he's a super striker boy. So mm-hmm. these are strikers, which means this fight was gonna go down the the same way the the one the way it went down. Not somebody by was tap gonna, out, mm, but by some motherfucker being punched. Somebody was gonna get knocked the fuck out because these guys are two fucking excellent strikers. Okay. So now, as I was saying, McGregor came out came out guns blazing as he usually does with his fights because he's a very aggressive guy. Came out guns blading, did this the same kind of thing with 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 um with with uh, Cowboy Cerrone where he was doing those shoulder strikes. Came out guns blazing. But what, what, what Dustin Poirier did, Poirier was very patient. Mm. You know what I mean? He, 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 he was very patient. And why I thought the fight was, was going to go McGregor's way is because what McGregor did. He, he did what McGregor does. He overwhelms you. And then once you get overwhelmed, he just overpowers you and hits you with everything that he's got until he can't hit you anymore and the, uh-huh, and uh-huh, the fight uh-huh. is stopped. Now, uh, Poirier maintained his, his, his composure. And he kept him at bay, landing well as well. But he just kept him at bay for a while. And what, I think the one thing that he did very well is take away his base. So what he did is he 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 he, he, he fucking kicked oh, his legs. Oh, kicking kicking at his, kicking legs. his legs. I saw. Yeah. I saw. So that's I what I mean saw, by I taking saw. away his base. He kicked his legs, man. And man, let kick sting, bro. So they basically, sting. O'Connor McGregor is not the kind of uh, fighter to um, almost um, use the momentum of another fighter. As the fighter comes onto him, you know, in the same way you would with judo or yeah. I don't know what kind of martial arts I, I, for, I forget now. Jiu-Jitsu ju- ju- does that as well, where you use the momentum of your opponent against yeah. them. So he wants to be the striker. He yes. wants to be the guy initiating That's the why if you'll see in most, I mean, McGregor is a championship fighter, but you'll see most of his fights, it's very, li- it's very rare that they go the full, the full five rounds. You know what I mean? He's always not. Oh, he's there out. to go finish it. He's a finisher. He's not there to wait for a motherfucker no, to have momentum no, 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 for no. him to take advantage it's, it's of. It's mostly like first round knockouts or second or third round. It's very little of his fights. And, and in I, your opinion, Kangogo, who what is a better fighting technique to always attack and finish the match as depends, quickly as it, possible, it, it or you are, gauge your opponent and do what uh, Priori did? Uh, it it, dep- it it look it, your your best fight is depends who you're fighting. 
So you should train according to the person that who you're fighting, right? That's what I think. But also, it's don't it's, be chacharach like yeah. Conor McGregor. It depends. Like all of these things depends. There are some people whom you want to knock out in the first in the first five rounds because they have that endurance. You don't want them to be uh, to to gauge you. To, you don't want to give them enough time to to suss you out and then you use all your strength against you because you would have given up your gameplay very early. Okay, that's what you, I hear you. I hear you. You know what I mean. So now with this, what, McGregor gave away his gameplay very early. Mm. Poirier didn't do that. Poirier, like he 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 picked him apart. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? He he kicked his legs, made sure that he doesn't he do, he doesn't surprise him with his. Uh, I don't know his, if you know his history, but is that typically how Poirier does his thing? I, I think he he did it for this fight, but because he's such an all round striker, and because he's such a good striker, he can he manages to to um, readjust in his fight depending on who is fighting and i mean he's lost before he fought against a very good fucking um uh, yeah against against habib and habib really showed him flames because habib you know what showed a, me flames as a spectator just mm, sitting here in Clifford mm, is that uh, habib submitted u uh, mcgregor or, the same way he did to priori because that's his thing we are by by mbeleka i figure i just choke some nicks yes that's but that's what he does once once habib gets you on the ground you are gone like he he has excellent grappling abilities. So instead gone. of the technique that Connor was using to keep space in between you, oh Habib is gonna grab your leg. Yes, but now what happened in the UFC fight, which is what I'm trying to get to, um, is that with with Poirier, is that once he noticed, once he kept McGregor enough at bay, and he he noticed that um, he can he can keep him away with kicks and he can keep him away with. Once he took away his base, basically, once he kicked his legs and everything, he saw that McGregor now didn't have an answer for that technique uh-huh. because he's never had to really fight somebody like that. You know what I mean? Or in that technique. So he, he, he saw that he didn't have an answer for that and he just freaking went at him. And what happened, man? McGregor was attacking. He threw, I think he threw a right, um, a right straight. It landed, but not flush, you know? Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, Poirier came with a beast, beast of a left hook, beast of a left hook that literally you saw McGregor's On legs cheek, wobble. Yeah. They wobbled. Like his legs literally wobbled. He went to like eat that thing. It was like he's on stilts, man. Yeah. This is like... <coughs> on spaghetti. <coughs> spaghetti legs. Spaghetti legs. And then once he saw that, uh, he went at him and basically, man, uh, uh, one, 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 one kissy dust. <laughs> kissy dust. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. One kissy dust, boy. Basically, that's what happened. What happens. does that mean? What does that mean? It means they gave him his mother with fists. <laughs> 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 they gave him his mother with fists. But um, it was a, it was a great fight, man. It was a great fight. This thing is gonna cut out, so I want to I want to keep. How much time do we have? Maybe we can just close off. Um. It's almost ah, it's off. We have about say five minutes left, you know. So um, just I just want to finish this one. Uh, but the UFC two five seven. If you haven't seen it, man, um, it was. Why do they say two five seven? Is it the two hundred fifty seventh round or game or match? I am not. Sure. It's it's it's. I think it's the the two hundred fifty seventh. Um event of that nature of that championship because the ones that have numbers behind them are usually for a certain either championship or a the, like a, a big main event so i'm like, wrestlemania work on yeah that kind of thing it's, it's exactly that because you have the like you have main events and then you have like contender series and, and like exhibition fights and everything okay else. okay but also exhibition fights like, is where my friend tabo is gonna go fight yeah and get beaten Who's your friend? Exhibition Tab? fight. Tabagama. I don't have a, f- a friend called Tab, <laughs> but if I did, he'll he go and fight in the uh, exhibition fights. Yeah, I see, I see. but also I, I could be wrong in 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 what the numbers of the two of, of the UFC stands for. I'm 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 assuming that that's what it means because that's how I perceive it. So if you know better, please holler in the comment section and let me know what you. Think. Please, not can do As poor as poor before call. But um, and but you can see Woody is very confident when he's <laughs> telling you these numbers. Aye, these numbers. Championship. This is what I think. Aye, this is what championship. I uh, aye, championship number two five seven. Yeah, that's when they have the numbers. <laughs> when they have a championship. <laughs> but Mongolo. God, God, it's a problem. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, it was a great fight. 
Um, but one thing that I want to give big up uh, Conor McGregor is he, I don't want to say single-handedly, but he popularized the sport of UFC when it was not really that popular. And he lifted it up to such a degree that it's even more popular than boxing now. You know what I mean? True. So true. he's, he he's done that. Did. What did you think of, uh, did you know, oh, I, I remember mentioning Chuck Liddell earlier. Mm. Uh, and he was my first instance of a UFC. Mm. Uh, he had a mohawk. I don't uh, and, remember. And then before him, he was a white guy. And mm. then before him was a guy called... Um, Kimbo Slice? Kimbo Slice. Kimbo Slice, yeah. Yes, Kimbo, Kimbo Slice. Kimbo Slice. Mure, mure yes, heavy. Some guys would look like they eyes yeah, are man. They suck and these backyard, those backyard faces. fights were fucking brutal because there were very little rules in there, so they were fucking brutal. But what happens to these to these cage fighters? I mean, to these street fighters when they come to a, a, a structure like a UFC is that the rules they kind of restrict them because now you have to fight within within yeah. the UFC rules and everything. But uh, the, the the fight between. Between Poirier and uh, and McGregor, man. Did you ever witness a Kimbo Slice uh, before you continue with the fight with McGregor and Poirier? Mm. Did you ever witness a Kimbo Slice professional? Mm-mm. Like watched it? Uh, not not really. I've watched the story, but I haven't really watched. I've watched like highlights here and there. I've never watched the full fight. It sounded and like he, well, he would have been a good fighter if he didn't die. Yeah, man. No, he was a good fighter. He was definitely a good fighter. But he would have if he didn't die. I think he he would have made even he would have been an even greater fighter. But he's the Tupac of the UFC. <laughs> <laughs> because he had gangster fights. I don't yeah, know. Because he died. He has, he has so much potential, but he died. Yeah, I, I, probably, probably. And for me, bold. For me, yeah. Uh, but he, he's a legend nonetheless, man. He's a legend. And, and there's another dude also called Dada5000. I don't know if he's still alive. I think he is. On a heavier, on the, on the heavy, um, heavy weight divisions. But he's not, I don't think he's fighting. If he's still alive, then he's not fighting in the UFC anymore. If he died, then he died. Can I ask you something? Him. Remember, you were still going to talk about oh, oh, Pro Rio, no, yeah, yeah. Kriga, so don't forget that thought, but I just want to ask you this quickly. Why is it that in UFC, the bigger, fi- like the w- the heavyweight, heavyweight fights aren't, why is it that the dynamic in boxing, the heavyweight fights are the big fights and then like upper welterweight, number featherweight or the smaller fights. The scale fight is different. And get, but our part of UFC, it seems to be the other way around. Yeah, the, the light heavyweight, the, the, the light heavyweight divisions are is actually like the more um, entertaining, entertaining ones. Are the one that because the, 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 the skill of, 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 of MMA is different. You, you're not only expecting punches and that's it. You know what I mean? The, with 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 boxing, we we want the big the big shots. We want the haymakers. We want to see the motherfucker hit the floor. Big arms. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Big arms, big shots. That's what we're looking for. With um with UFC, there's a little bit more to that. There's more skill that we expect. You want to see grappling. You want to see kicking. You want to see um you know wrestling. All of those things. And the people that have the that are the most exciting and have the most technical ability to do so. Are the your 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 lighter divisions? So that's why they that's why that's why they they most popular. If you look at heavyweight fights, heavyweight fights in in the UFC go down like um like heavyweight boxing fights most of the time. You know what I mean? In, in terms of what happens, it, it goes in terms all of the what happens, yeah. In in yeah, no, 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 I mean in, until, I mean in terms of the mean? action that happens inside the octagon, it is mostly a boxing match. Oh, then, then, oh. then it is. I mean, you you do get kicks, you do get people that grapple. So it's not only that, but the way it goes down usually, because with with big guys, it's just natural. The natural ability is to stay on your feet and 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 throw haymakers. But now, when with you know your light heavyweight divisions and all that, there's a lot more. There's kicks. There's there's somersaults. There's somersaults. There's all these things, man. And I, I love down. seeing that. <laughs> I love seeing that. So now, oh McGregor for this fight, he he was cool, but then he 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 got sluggish. He got overconfident he got lazy he's also a little bit heavier than he was before is he a little bit yeah because he's a little bit a little bit heavy because he hadn't he hadn't fought in a very long time and like that Gandhi, when was the fight against the cowboy that was last year sometime oh, or okay. maybe the year before i can't remember okay. but that's the last fight of, of of note that i remember and at, at after that fight he had said by he's retiring but then he didn't because he's always retiring but then he never retires that's that rapper thing. good way to make money is to retire there we go back. so now he came in i think he got overconfident I think he, Plus, he got uh, sluggish. He's, he's Wait, this boy before. Yes, yeah, he did. He got sluggish. And sorry about that. I was on something before you said something. Now. Yeah, no, I, I was only. I'm sorry. I was only saying yeah. that because he had beaten the. Boy yes, before. he has. He he. Yeah, he got sluggish. You say he was overconfident. He got overconfident. He got sluggish, and he got reckless. And then, Poria was very disciplined. Uh, he knew what he was doing. He was patient. And he waited for the right opportunity. The minute he saw that McGregor now was uh, was 
um, you know, falling by the wayside. So his, his, his balance was off. Then he knew it was going to be easier for, for him to catch him on the face. Mm. And then once he did that, and once he caught him with that left hook, once he caught him with that left hook, man, it was over Skadovas. It was like, yeah, hey, McGregor. Who were you rooting for before the match started? I'm not gonna lie. I was rooting for Poirier. I was rooting for Poirier because I'm not that big of a McGregor fan. Wow. Although, ah, man, I don't like arrogant fighters. I know and I understand, and, and we had this conversation before. But for me, he 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 got in. He 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 became. He thought he was bigger than the sport. He, yeah, he. So, who's your favorite came. fighter? Who's your Israel who's your... Adesanya? Is, is he? Is he from Bloom? No, he's Nigerian, but he's from New Zealand. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the way you he said would, it, you got these he would be, uh, no, he would be, it would be Israel, it would be Israel Mark if it was from Bloom. Uh, he'd be like, he won't be fighting, he'd be like, FUS <laughs> like, oh, he's, 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 he's from uh, Ni- he's Nigerian, Nigerian descent, Nigerian. uh, but he uh, he is based in New Zealand, fighting out of city kickboxing in New Zealand out there. And he's in the same weight, or no, 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 he's in, a, he's in a light heavyweight. I think he's a bit, he's, he's a bit heavier than Conor McGregor. So, Conor McGregor is in, is in the lightweight division. Um, Adesanya is in the light heavyweight division. Okay. What I like, uh, Izzy is also like a very arrogant fighter, but he has, his 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 uh his swag is different. His uh He's black. his it sounds black. You know what I mean? He is black, and his uh, uh his his, his persona Gang, I'm just is different. Saying Gang is arrogant. He's black. He's black. Conor McGregor is arrogant. He's white. Who do you have beef with? His arrogance. I'm just saying. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm homie? just saying. I don't know, man. I'm just putting the facts in place. I I, I respect. I think Connor. you don't like the tattoo on his chest. Now you just <laughs> say if you don't like the tattoo on his chest. I also don't like the tattoo on his chest. Yeah, I I like I like I like I like I like, I like Izzy, man. Izzy got style, and Izzy's Izzy's um arrogance is very entertaining. He does it in a very entertaining way, and it's not it's not it's not just like uh it's it's not just noise. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, McGregor just he, for me he screams a lot, but I will give him the respect that he deserves because the UFC I mean, would not like be the UFC. Twenty nine and two or something. Hmm? So Conor McGregor. Twenty nine mm-hmm. and two or thirty and two or something like that. Something like that. Only he lost twice, very... but fought like Khabib has fought as much times, just a little bit less than Conor McGregor. Mm. Yeah? I am not sure. I think Khabib has more fights under his belt because he's been more active in the recent years than McGregor has been. It sounded yeah. like they said twenty eight and all. Something like that, yeah. He's he, he is undefeated. I know that for a fact. He's undefeated in the division that he is in right now. But it was a it was a great fight, man. It was a great fight. I wanted it to go on for longer. I'm not gonna lie. I felt it ended. That's early. what she said. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. I wanted it to go on for longer. <laughs> But it didn't, man. And that was the that was the UFC two five seven with Dustin Poirier and uh, and Conor McGregor. Um, if you haven't checked out the fight, go and check it out wherever you check out your fights, pay per view or um, on other platforms, you uh, YouTube, whatever it is. Go Do check know, it out. When I was young, when I was young, mm. I thought uh, pay per view was pay per view. Was what? Pay per view. Yeah, yeah, I thought the same. Yeah. I thought the same. <laughs> and then they they abbreviated. Like, what is this pay per view? The PPV. But I, also, when I saw pay per view, I always thought it was porn. Why? Because uh, porn always had like pay per view or some sort of payment problem. mechanism. So every, showing. every time I saw something that's pay per view, I thought it had something to do with porn. But I was a, I was a child. Anyway, man, yeah, that was uh, UFC two five seven. Go check it out um, wherever you check it out, and you you're gonna see. It was a classic fight. Um, it's gonna go down in the history books, and um, I I really wish it had gone on for longer. And yeah. um yeah man. And remember Oberking said he thought uh, pay-per-view was uh, PPV. Porn. PPV. This <laughs> 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 Just remember that Over King thought so Pepe Pepe was PPV. Pepe Pepe. Pepe. Just Just I have a very long, I have a very long history with Paul. You see. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man. Remember, as we said before, before this thing cuts us out, um, we're gonna be available on Apple Podcasts and we're gonna be available on Spotify and on Anchor, basically, and on YouTube. So you can catch us anywhere you feel uh, comfortable. 
um that's what we're gonna we're leveling up and we're doing the nice things and uh, we're gonna keep this content going and we want to keep it growing with you so subscribe uh share tell your people to tell the people to tell the people and let's grow this thing together man this has been a nice episode we got a few seconds so you know anything yeah. you gotta say homie how do you like my jacket joe uh, I don't. Kiss on cable like it's a cable. I will peel myself. Don't peel me. I will peel myself. Exactly. Exactly. Say that. I got this jacket from a friend of mine. Uh, yeah. And that friend of mine told me that he got it from his uncle, who was uh -huh. like his dad's older brother. Uh -huh. And he has no idea where his dad's older brother got it from, but he never said it was a shop. So I think it came from another nigga even before that. I need to go fix it somewhere, man. I love it. Nah, it's got sentimental value. It doesn't keep me warm nah, for shit. The, 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 yeah, the holes, the holes look like they have stories to tell. Like you were stabbed. You were trying to run away. You were stabbed here. Man, let me and tell you. And then you were trying to run away. And then you got, you were trying to get mugged. And then you were at a party. And then Guess what year it was when I got this jacket? Sure. Ah. Yo. It's years ago. Just guess, Jay. Yeah. I don't know, man. 1992. Like, yeah, I think it might have been 2005. Shit. Which would make it? 15 years that yes. I've had this jacket. 16 Bro. years. No, yeah, no. That jacket, like, it, it does look like it has... Imagine how long... long, long how long Uputando... Imagine how long Uputando had this jacket. Had this jacket. This ja no, this jacket looks like it could be... You know what you need now with this jacket? You need an afro and to stay, be just standing next to a car uh, with your... I'm, I'm getting a line. I'm <laughs> getting a line. I'm getting a no, line. No, you need an afro to be standing next to a car with your with your foot on the on the, on the the tire. Like, you know those old poses, must. They must know. That's what with you need. Pants. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, man, we need to end the show. Otherwise, this is gonna turn into a fucking four-hour podcast. But this has been a really, really, really good one. I enjoyed this content today. I hope you enjoyed. Did you enjoy yourself, homie? I always enjoy myself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um. So you enjoyed it as well. We definitely did. We'll see you on the next one. This was episode seven of uh, the Easy Just Podcast, man. Lucky Follow number us. seven. Like lucky number seven. My, my seven. Hola seven. Okay, that was. Do you want to just go over what we talked about today? I know they'll get it in the just comments. Just a little bit of a. Uh, no, get, but tell them. The but comments. we're nice people. We're just. Hi, like, man. I'm, I'm not that nice today. Just a little bit. Tell us, the, like, tell us I'm about not, I'm not about the nice. wedding. You don't be with dancing. You're dancing to a wedding song. You're like, oh, boncha hot. So oh, why is it hot? So yeah, can I blend? Like, I remember in bloom hot or hot? So ha ha. Don't you remember? Where is the enthusiasm? Uh, hot, hot. Don't you remember? Hot, hot. Bye bye, guys. Um, we, we have a problem, bro. See you on the next one. <laughs> See you on the next one. Put that back. <laughs> Hey, what happened to the enthusiasm, bro? Nah, the enthusiasm is gone. It's gone. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of talking to you. I'm tired of these fucking antics of yours. <laughs> this has been this has been a nice episode. I will see you in the next one, man. Peace, As we yo, always peace, do. peace, peace. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>